Business Stat Chapter 4 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 1 Use the Contingence Table to the right to determine the probability of events. So first what we're going to do with the Contingence Table is that we're going to get the total for each column B and B prime which is 140 and 120 respectively and we're going to get the row total for row A and A prime which is 170 and 90 and when we add it up we're going to have a total of 260. So for part A, the probability of event A is basically the probability of A divided by the total, which is 170 divided by 260, which equals to 0 0.654. And for part B, the probability of event A prime is basically the total of event A prime, which is 90 divided by the total of 260, so which equals to 0 0.346. Part C. The probability of event A and B is 80 divided by 260 equals to 0 0.308. Part D, the probability of event A or B is 230 divided by 260, which equals to 0 0.885. And how we got the 230 is we add up all the events that has A or B. So we have 80 plus 60 plus 90, which equals to 230.